A consistent and careful practice should be followed each time the 3710 independent coulter drill is brought out to the field and unfolded into field position before the start of seeding. Before the winging out procedure, check that the area around the drill is free of any objects and that any people are well away from the unit. Next, remove the transport lock pins. There are four pins, one located on each row on both sides of the drill. Once the transport lock pins are removed, check that the coulter arms and MRBs are all the way up. There are line locks inside the hydraulic valve block to prevent settling, but they may lower a bit over long transport distances. Use the depth remote circuit to raise the seat openers and banders into their full upright position. You are now ready to engage the wing lift remote to unfold the drill into field position. Once the unit is unfolded and wing lift cylinders have fully extended, release the wing lift remote. This remote is no longer required during the field operation of the unit. You can now engage the depth control hydraulics for operation. Lock the remote for the depth circuit into the engaged position. Then turn power onto the model 400 control box. Check that the depth control is working properly by using the toggle on the control box to raise and lower the coulter arms. You may now engage the remotes for the air seater fan or fans as required. Power to the model 400 control box is on. The seat openers and mid-row banders are lifting and lowering by flipping the toggle. Notice that the pressure increases and decreases on display of the control box gauge. We are currently in the raised position. Flipping the switch lowers the openers and mid-row banders into the ground. When the openers and the mid-row banders are fully engaged in the ground, we will see our pressure setting is at 700 psi down pressure. Increasing and decreasing is as easy as a touch of the toggle. Holding the toggle will give continuous adjust up and down. One click of the toggle up or one toggle down is an incremental change of 50 psi. The procedure for getting through wet areas of the field is a little different with the 3710 than standard hoe drills. If you begin to raise all the openers and mid-row banders, all the drill's weight will transfer onto the caster wheels and rear carrying wheels and possibly aggravate the situation. A better procedure is to quickly switch off power to the Model 400 control box. Doing this will immediately relieve all the pressure to the openers as well as a majority of the trip pressure and draft on the tractor. Packing pressure is also relieved and with the packer wheels still on the ground this helps to distribute part of the drill weight. Once you make it through the wet spot just turn the power of the control box back on. You'll notice that when we turn off power to the box the pressure display doesn't change. The reason for this is it is an electric gauge that retains the last known pressure setting. Even though the opener arm hydraulic block on the mainframe shows that the pressure is really about 100 psi, the electric gauge remembers the last saved pressure setting. This may seem deceiving but if the Model 400 control box is powered off, there will be no pressure back to the openers and packer wheels. It is important to achieve the proper seed depth for the crop type and seed bed conditions. This procedure will help you set the 3710 independent coulter drill as efficiently as possible. The numbers on the side of the opener body are for reference only. With a new disc installed, Hole number one is approximately half inch disc depth and each additional hole is in quarter inch increments. To assist with adjusting the depth, a handle is cast into the depth pivot. Another option when making depth adjustments to the front row from outside the frame is to use the wrench supplied or a one and one eighth inch wrench and attach to the boss located on the side of the depth pivot. Here we are adjusting the depth down to hole number 4. Once adjusted, check the furrow depth of the opener to see what it provides for a seating depth. We want to adjust only one opener at this time to compare to the original settings to minimize time taken to set the drill. 
Next, we run a pass with the seating unit for about 50 to 75 yards to get a sample of how the new setting will work. Locating the run of the adjusted arm, we use a seed digger to determine the actual depth of the seed. Based on this run, we found there was a little more than one and a quarter inch of depth with the opener set at hole position four. This is the seed depth we are after, so we are going to set the whole machine to this. We will go back to each one of the openers, remove the pin, adjust the arm to position four, then replace and secure the pin. You may wish to set the openers that run in the tractor tracks one hole lower to compensate for compaction. Remember to use similar packing pressure for depth setting as you want to use for field operation. You will get a good indication of the soil movement by the packer tire and you will get a good assessment of what is going to happen inside the field. It is suggested that 450 psi is a good starting point for packing pressure with the low disturbance scraper and 500 psi if the anti hairpinning scraper is installed. You will have about 450 pounds of trip force and allow you quite a bit of range both up and down if required. Do not attempt to adjust seating depth with packer pressure. Adjusting the packing pressure will not have a great effect on your seating depth. The proper way to adjust the seating depth from field to field or from product to product is to go to each opener and adjust the depth. The minimum hydraulic operating pressure for the Coulter arms is the setting at which the discs remain fully engaged during normal operation. Increasing the hydraulic pressure past this point will only increase packing force. It will not improve soil penetration. Excessive operating pressure may lift the rear wheels off the ground. Once the packer wheels are on the ground, the only way to properly increase seating depth is to change the depth on the seat opener. Refer to your operator's manual for additional details in seed depth setting. Before transporting the unit, you will need to fold up the machine and prepare it for travel. The first thing to do is make sure that the mid-row banders and the openers are raised. Use the electric switch on the Model 400 control box to raise the openers and mid-row banders. Once the seed openers and banders are raised all the way, Disengage the depth circuit remote and turn off power to the control box. Next, use the wing lift remote to raise the unit into transport position. Once the unit is all winged, remember to always install the transport safety lock pins. The pins are located in the front and back of the machine. Repeat these steps on both sides and you're ready to go to the next field. We hope that you have found the information in this presentation helpful in the understanding and operation of your new 3710 independent Coulter drill. Refer to your operator's manual for any additional information that was not covered in this presentation. For additional information on this and other Burgo products, go to our website at www.burgo.com and visit your local Burgo dealer. Good luck and may you experience many safe and prosperous seasons in your farming operations.